on the island of Kauai, in the state of Hawaii, uh, we have a unique situation at Lahui Airport. It's a very active airport. It's got a hundred thousand aircraft operations every year. And one of the unique things is that the runways at the airport are like an inverted V, and there is an 18-hole golf course resort in between those runways. And so it's a perfect environment for the threatened and endangered native birds here in Hawaii. Uh, there is a Hawaiian goose or nene, which is also the state bird. There's also a Hawaiian coots, there's gallinules, there's stilt, they're all endangered. But because of the the nature of that resort, it's a perfect environment for those water birds. Just because of the air airfields that are in close proximity, there is a risk to public safety. And so we have two issues that we want to deal with. We want to be able to protect the native endangered birds, plus also increase public safety. But one of our solutions that we have is we want to be able to haze the birds away from the airfield before the planes land or, or take off and make sure that they're out of the danger zone. In this case, because they're on a resort and they're golfers and there's, you know, there's the public, it's not a control space that we have. We can't use pyrotechnics where we can use something like that as a noisemaker to be able to scare the birds away. So in this case, we wanted to come up with a solution that did not use loud bangers and screamers and that sort of thing. And so one solution that I know has been used in the mainland before was using border collies to be able to haze Canada geese. And so I wanted to explore that idea out, out here in Kauai. Doing the hazing of these birds, we want to be able to gauge the success. So we want to be able to say, we've successfully hazed the birds, we've reduced the risk to the public safety, we also have not harmed the birds. All they had to do was move to a different site. They can nest anywhere they like, as long as they're not on the property in between those runways. That's what we're really concerned about. One gauge of success is to be able to see the movement patterns of these birds. And one of the ways we wanted to do that, besides this, in the field taking data, we also took 10 adult nene and attached satellite tags to them. And so this way we'll get live GIS, GPS, empirical data on the movement patterns associated with the hazing of these birds. And we did this in collaboration with the National Wildlife Research Center. In this case, it was Dr. Brian Washburn out of Sandusky, Ohio. We did the satellite tagging of the birds, and so we'll have that data to back up the physical data that we're also taking. We started on the property hazing birds at the end of June of this year, 2019. When we first got started, we hazed just under a thousand birds in that first week. We were very successful. By the third week, we had a 90% reduction in the number of birds that were on the property. And since that time, it's been a real low level of activity uh, on the property itself. We still haze birds as they show up, but so far it's been really successful. Satellite tagging data that we were getting has also been very informative. We can tie that to the hazing of the birds themselves and also where they go. We know they're leaving the property. Well, by the satellite tags, we can also tell where they go. This is going to be an ongoing project. Right now I have two complete canine teams. We're in the works of hiring another canine handler, and then we'll also acquire another dog. So we'll have three complete teams during this breeding season. By the next season, we may in fact need to have four complete canine teams to be able to keep the pressure on the geese so they don't stay at the resort and continue to be a threat to public safety and themselves. I would like to thank the Hawaii Department of Transportation Airports Division for funding this project. I would also like to extend my great appreciation to Hokawala Resort for allowing us to use their property for this experiment, the National Wildlife Research Center for assistance with the data collection and the satellite tagging, and also uh, the Department of Land and Natural Resources for the state for the assistance uh, that they provided in um, doing the collection of the birds so we could do the tagging of them. And also Fish and Wildlife Service for assisting us with NEPA compliance that was required for this project. Very helpful and thank you all.